Hi, this is Saif Ali Khan and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. We have this Saif Ali Khan, his movie is coming up, Lal Kaptan, and there's a lot of stuff that is happening around him. Play having you back on Bollywood Hangama. Thanks. When we see your, when we hear your language and lingo in uh, Lal Kaptan, uh, it's something that um, is is not natural to you because you have this this wonderful this accent and english style of talking but uh, you have had several films in your career uh, where you have gone out of your comfort zone and uh, you've surprised audiences beat omkara even bullet raja i think is is was a film that dekho yaar mujhe abhi 30 saal ho gaye mm-hmm. to i can speak in various ways right. now my natural way of speaking english is right. a certain way but that doesn't i think you know if i have a little gujarati accent in bazaar or if i have a kind of a bit of haryanvi accent in in omkara yeah. or whatever the accent is nowadays films have become um great to act in in the sense that you know you should every every character should have a particular way of talking like every human being on this set also has a particular way of talking um i think in hindi films for the longest time everyone wanted to sound like um Mr. Amita Bachchan, yeah, you know, with a nice bass voice and a good clean many Hindi delivery, many still do. Many, still, many do. still do. Yeah, but it's nice in a film if you get a chance to put on a bit of a accent because that's what differentiates characters the most right. from each other. So, Lal Kaptan was also kind of like a, it's a film that's set. Um, William Dalrymple just written a book called The Anarchy, which is set around exactly the time of our film, and it wasn't. But uh, he, this, uh, the. the time that the film is set in was a crazy time you know and this is a kind of a revenge drama about a lone kind of warrior um and there's many other things happening every character is out of his space people have lost kingdoms people are getting kingdoms um which is why it's the anarchy uh at the core of it is almost a supernatural kind of story about like i said a, a revenge drama but also like a western you know uh so the treatment is very kind of like that like a like an italian western but in a very indian way so i've always wanted to do a film like that um and i'm really excited i got a chance sorry i'm i'm going off a bit but uh, accent wise you know i'll tell you something honestly we, we speak to many actors yeah of course uh, we've seen many films we tend to see many films many times uh, actors don't experiment that much so the way they sound maybe one movie more or less they sound in the yeah. other movies as well even though the context maybe requires them to talk in a certain manner so yes. i think you are one of the very few actors yeah. there are very few actors who actually try to become a part of the context it'd be great that's the fun of it if you can do it and it, that's uh, the reason i said i've been here 30 years is because it's i think we should be allowed to have whatever accent we should be allowed to dress however we want like some people you know they you need to look a certain part off screen also because maybe the producer like i've worked with some guy i worked with Nitin Kakkar who I really love Jawani Janam Jawani Janam recently and he said you know I was because worried every time I saw you because you were not looking like my guy so I was like you know but that will come last minute when we get the hair cut and we change and we do that we are in whatever look we're shooting no right. at the moment but I think that need to kind of project the hero constantly is a little worrying you know like you I have to sound a certain way dress a certain way and kind of be a certain way i should be allowed to have an english accent if i want or speak like this if i want or dress like this provided when the camera is on i can give you what you want that's an actor like right. some of these guys in america they've got australian accents you don't even know yeah they've got like you know english accents but when the camera is on the sounding well like whatever they're supposed to sound like so that's the way i think no that, that's interesting All right, and um, when you were approached for this this character, what was your your state of mind like? Why well, I think Anand Rai said to me that it's a little crazy <laughs> this film. He said it's a little mad, and you know I'll understand if it worries you. But what do you think? And Navdeep, I met, and he showed me some sketches, and I instantly connected. I thought this is like a graphic novel. It's like a if you had to think of an Indian superhero, like. this is a great it's a mysterious swordsman which is a kind of legend in the west and japan and all this kind of thing there's a mysterious swordsman you know it's like a western character what is a western character mainly would be a a lone guy you don't know who he is you don't know where he's from 
what is he doing? He needs to take revenge. There's some burning pain inside him. He has bad dreams. There's a mystery in himself. He's deadly with the sword. He's got this kind of thing. So he's like that. So anyway, when they narrated it to me and told me the story, just the context of the story, the, the story itself, and particularly the character and the world, horses, sword fights, you know, cannons, and all these forts that we see in Rajasthan. In Rajasthan, you know, those empty abandoned forts for the last yeah. 400 years. We made them come alive with flags and horses and armies. So to do a historical film like that, but not like, you know, one of these CG driven historical movies that we see, which we love, it's great. But this was kind of raw and real and uh, something really special, which I think to my dying day, um, I'll want to watch from time to time on DVD and say, I, I can't believe I did it. And oh, wow. Because it was too difficult, yeah. It yeah, was too it difficult. Must be, must be. And even the way I think that they're promoting is something which is different. The way they're just introducing the trailers and teasers. Yes. I don't know it's if it's like different. It's nice. It's like normal promotion. It's good promotion. You know, they like. Usually, we, we get like a theatrical trailer, but, yeah. but this is like they're coming in online more. Yeah, in terms of like one one minute uh, yeah. video came up, then like one and a half minute video mm. came up. So, which is the building up in a. But there's some smart guys in marketing these days. But I really like the way those little things are. Yeah, cut they are interesting. They're, they're something different. Yeah. Nice. They are something different. To create a new world, you know, and to create a new character, but to create the atmosphere of a new world. It's not easy. All this is done. I mean, it can easily look really flat, but when it works, like such interesting characters, Deepak Dobriyal, he you know, is he's fantastic. He's looking very good. And everyone, everyone in the movie. Sunakshi is there as well. Yeah, Sunakshi's done a very, very small, very nice of her to do that, a kind of a very guest appearance kind of thing. It's not an integral part, but it's an important part. It's what, you know, she's the one who hires me. Like as it were. What do you want to say to your fans who are missing Saif Ali Khan in the race, in the movies, in the movies, in the romantic and escapist cinema? Yes, you know, escapist and romantic cinema. I think I have been guilty as charged for a few years that I have made a little different film. I don't know, there were offers and it was very interesting. I thought that I should do it. After that, I took a conscious decision that I I want to work in some commercial films. So, Javani Janeman is in that school. In that school? Okay. Yeah, much as the title implies, it's in that school. And so is Booth Police. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, so, these two films uh, have both, you know, very funny comedy tracks as well as, you know, a bit of romance. And of course, Booth Police is a horror mm -hmm. comedy, which is very commercial. And, uh, but the character is very energetic and fun and small town Casanova type um, which should be interesting and Javani Janaman is about a London Punjabi Jaswinder called Jazz who loves dancing and loves drinking. We've done it properly. It's a grown-up rom-com because a lot of lines have been crossed like the character drinks like a fish and can't remember next morning you know what wakes up in a bathtub sometimes this type. Loves women and loves the single life until you know, something happens and everything changes. That's more in that zone. I think, I don't know, Yare, for some reason, you go through different phases in life. And the films that were turning me on, that I wanted to do, were like this. So even I'm missing that character. But, but, but to, be honest, to be honest, yeah. so while I was coming for this interview, I was thinking about it, that in Race, for example, you had yeah. that husky tone, yeah. the way you used to talk and all. Yeah. I'm sure that it must have been a lot of fun. Race was, you know, Race was offered to me, and they said, of course, you play the younger brother who's the, you know, crazy, uh, evil guy. He's the villain. So you play that guy. And I think Akshay Kumar or somebody, so I don't know how it was working out. Somebody was playing the elder brother. So I said, listen, I'm fed up. I don't want to play these roles. I want to play the hero. I want to play the elder brother. They said he's a little quiet compared to the other guy, you know, role-wise. So I said, I don't care. I want to play the responsible stronger elder brother who slaps the younger brother and says, you know, that kind of scene. And I think it suited me. I was ready for it. Uh, so that's how that happened. And it was great fun. I mean, we were a really good crew. Ramesh Thawani was like our father. I remember he didn't like the sun, so he used to sit inside and we used to play games and he used to take us out to dinner every night. Vipasha and Katrina, like amazing looking girls, such lovely people and in a good zone also. Everyone was doing quite well in life, on their way up as it were. 
and Akshay Khanna did such a fantastic, yeah. fantastic job. Yeah. So the energy in that film was superb. I mean, it's history now, but really well written stuff. Anil Kapoor, locations were great. Songs were yeah, great. so it yeah. was good fun. I spoke to Akshay Khanna recently. I spoke to Farhan Akhtar recently as well. And yeah. Every time uh, you speak to these guys, so Dil Chata invariably uh, becomes a topic of discussion as well. That movie is still so fresh. Yeah. People talk about uh, sequel and obviously people want you guys to be there as well. One of your best performances. Yeah. I still remember when the when the reviews came out and the way people used to write yeah. about you. I was watching it also recently. I saw some clips. It's, it's a good performance. It's a little young, you know, almost there. Was, I wouldn't call it. Iska koi bharosa nahi. Aaj aaj puja kal koi duja. Yeah. It was <laughs> great. It was beautifully that, written. That pillow. Yeah. Yes. That was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. It was the first time we had a character wearing like three quarter length. Jean, gel in the hair, T-shirts, modern T-shirts, yeah. saying things that people normally say, really broke the mold of. Otherwise, you're trying to do versions of Mr. Bachchan, and you know the influence that he had on cinema and and the hero took a long time to kind of normalize. You know, uh, which is a great compliment to him. For us as a nation, um, to have a regular boy next door being a urban hero i think this is the film that changed it. but dil chahta i think to me more than what happened on screen it changed how films were made off screen like sync sound the ad system time lapse was used for the first time for what i understand i don't know but these it's cameras it's and lenses song, yeah. and just the the crew you know the ad i remember there's one lady following me to the bathroom saying he's gone on a 101 so i was like what is a 101 <laughs> so it says that means going to the bathroom so things like this it was really well organized no, no, it was. It looked like as well. Sacred Games Part Two has uh, recently come. A lot of people liked it. There were some people who did not. Well, you have been nominated for an Emmy. That is Sacred Games Part yeah. One. Yes. Part okay, one. so Part Two is. Yeah. Okay. You happy with the same, response same Part thing, Two? Yeah. Well, not as happy as I was with the response to Part One. I think a few people found it a little different, you know. And it was always going to be a little different. Sacred Games, it's called. So it's got a bit of this guru going on about things. Yeah. <laughs> so, I remember my spot boy, whose opinion I quite value, and his name is Hira. He said, "Wo guru ka thoda zyada usme ho gaya." <laughs> so I came to philosophical and spiritual. Yeah, and all I think okay. a lot of people um, yeah. felt the way that. it ends. I was like, "What happened?" <laughs> again and again. Where is the next part? Oh what no! Happened? But so I like, was okay with the ending the, because it doesn't make a difference. Either he saves it or it blows up. Yeah, the but uh, it's it's a killer ending. Nice ending, but I quite like the show. You know, I, it's a little differently placed. I, the first season had some crazy things, you know, Cuckoo's character and also the development of my character. I mean, it was Vikram really nailed it, I think, as a director. Second season, you know, the climax, I think, could have been a bit whatever, whatever. I liked it, but I understand that people preferred the first one. Yeah. That's the vibe I got. You're That's, saying. Mm, yeah. yeah. Now, Bar of Blood has recently been launched on Netflix and yeah. people are drawing parallels with, with Phantom. Okay. Yeah. Because of the of the theme in a way as well. Yeah. Do you think that maybe Phantom was slightly ahead of its time because Well, not really, because Baby was all ahead of Phantom. <laughs> which is a similar story also. Right? Akshay Kumar but, is but baby. Phantom you guys actually went, went to there. a neighboring country, yeah. Yeah, okay. So in, so in that context. That's what they do in, in, well, in Phantom Blood is based well. on a book, right? Yeah. Um, as yeah. yeah. I have my own issues with Phantom. It was such a lovely script and idea. Two things. One is the end, which changed. I wish I'd had the understanding to think about it more and have told, you know, Kabir, who I really respect and like, that don't change the end. This guy has to get the salute of his men at the end. Because we changed it and killed him and gave the salute to Katrina. But the whole idea was that he has to get vindicated. But I... I and the other thing is my haircut was really bad. It was too long. Okay. I needed a military kind of haircut, I thought. But I was... Unfortunately, at that time, shooting another film also. So that is a mistake that will never happen again. Where when you're doing a film like that, you should do only that. But in those days, it was still that time. It was the end of that time when I think you could still do two films in a, at the same time. So which is not... I, I, I re maybe I shouldn't say it in an interview, but I regret that. I think Phantom deserved... An in like how you should, an entirely different look, you know? You'll be featured on Karina's uh, show, the second season yeah. of a show recently. I just went you, yesterday. You just went for it. Yeah. Uh, how was the experience of that? It was nice. Uh, but two actors, you know, in, but you must be knowing, an interview is different to an interviewee. We have to, it was really interesting. I quite enjoyed it. I felt she should have let me talk more. <laughs> she doesn't let you talk. <laughs> no, she said it's a short show. Keep your answers uh, to the point, please, or something like this. I was going through what happened last season that uh, apparently you had called 
on the show and you had you had expressed your comments and you'd asked something to Karina how he could keep his wife happy post their child's birth and Karina had said that it's really very cheeky of you Saifu to be asking this on national radio but either way I shall answer it I think a husband should just be there for a wife baby means a lot of extra responsibilities and by sharing them wife will automatically get happy as for attention plan a nice date for her without the baby and then see the magic aha very good idea that's what Karina said I think applicable to everyone it's true great lady she knows she understands lots of things she's absolutely right even though we we'll, might take the baby also he's good fun he is a lot of good fun yeah i miss him you enjoy the attention that he gets or you don't like it at times a lot of it is good vibes a lot of the attention he gets are people giving love and happiness it's okay it's, there are worse things in the world than a little bit of attention could might spoil i don't want to spoil him you know he shouldn't start thinking he's someone really special apart from because we love him that's a danger that's the only danger <laughs> This is Nihal from Lucknow. Is he doing Vikram Veda remake with Ooh. mega star Amir Khan? I'd like to. It's a little early to talk about it, but if you if you've heard something, then there's no smoke without fire. But I'm a bit superstitious. Wait, wait, a bit longer. With Amir? Akash from Baramati. Favorite memory of working with Akshay Kumar? We would love to see you both in a movie together in future. <laughs> if you say Akshay Kumar, a lot of things come up in my head. Mai Khiladi to Anadi. something he said about he was doing a some campaign against hiv or something and he said don't be an anadi wear a condom and be a khiladi or something which i just thought was really funny <laughs> so people want to see you guys together once again yeah sure depends on this on the script and idea and what kind of role i would have in this movie <laughs> Considering Akshay Kumar's superstar status right now? No, superstars. There's lots of superstars. Mm. It's just about my role and how much of it would stay and how much the of editing it would part. Be. Oh, various part. I just right. whatever would be there. What's the role? <laughs> <laughs> like there's certain people who there's no. You know, it's very possible to have a very nice role with a superstar. Like you can have a nice role with me. You know. This is Nav Bhar from New Delhi. Which film category do you enjoy more? Urban rom-com like Ham Tum Dil Chahta Hai or deep-rooted dark cinema like Omkara Lal Kaptan? I By the way, I'm a huge fan of yours in both kind of cinema. Feels like you have mastered in both. Both, yeah. If you just do rom-coms or urban stuff, then you feel like you haven't done enough. We go to the heartland and get into the mud and nice rural accents, like you were saying, and. you know heat and dust and all that kind of thing and then go to london and do jawani jaane wale <laughs> that's the way to do it and you feel ha ah, it's okay but one without the other is a little dry do both is great utkarsh goswami what can we expect from tana ji oh i think you can expect a like a very commercial um and a really artistic movie that's kind of really patriotic and you know celebrating the great maratha right hand of shivaji tanaji worry but also if you read the amar chitra katha comic you know with that comes the rajput crazy villain dude called udevan which i think is one of the most exciting roles i've i've had in fact this year in the vintage year of if i am a grape of wine um after i think 2000 when was omkara is 2006 or some it was 2000 no i think 2007 Okay, so that year was like two thousand seven. I think it released. Okay, so that two thousand six was great because it's Parinita, Omkara, yeah. kind of you know there was another film, um, but it was a really artistic year. So I think all the way after that is this year, which has had like Tana Ji and Lal Kaptan and Jawani Janaman. So somehow a kind of a really nice mix of of parts. But Tana Ji is. Om Raut is a genius this director that Ajay Devgan's fan I believe he's won an award for making a Marathi film but his control over CG so this Lal Kaptan was a nightmare to shoot this was a dream because we used to go to film city and green screen and this kind of half a set and the rest would be done later on on graphics but amazing and a completely different school of of cinema but a difficult character a little bit like a little bit like the joker which i didn't know how to act like that so i had to learn on the set because i'm not a very i wasn't a very theatrical dramatic actor 
at least that's a school I'm not comfortable with. When I told my mother, she said, you know, don't make an ass of yourself. Because, <laughs> you know, you can. But I think we really nailed it. So that was, that's what you can expect. Utkarsh also has one more interesting question. There are two actors, Ritik and Saif Ali Khan, whose looks are of Hollywood level. So, sir, Aisha. do you want to work in Hollywood? Yes or no? You know, if you want to work in Hollywood, it's like, do you want to live in London? I mean, if you do, then you have to move there and you have to do it. There are things that are slightly international, like Sacred Games gets nominated for an Emmy. That's great. Maybe you'll get offered something. I'm really rooted and grounded and I'm very happy here. And I enjoy this. Because Hollywood's really like, you know, you got to go there and just start working and struggle or whatever it is and read for parts and audition and just start from scratch, I think. I don't think they're particularly interested in how many Bollywood films you've done or they're just about whether you can do their part. So you'll have to read and work and start. And I don't know if I can do all that right now in life. I'm quite, I have a set pattern and a set routine, even though I understand they make amazing movies and it would be great to be part of that. This is Vishal from Patna. How did you prepare for the role of uh, your playing in Lal Kaptan? Oh my God. I think I spent a lot of time in locked up in my room in Rajasthan. I went there and luckily I didn't shoot for 10 days because the director was shooting with somebody else. <laughs> but those 10 days I spent staying up at night with candles lit. There's a big mirror in the bathroom and I used to walk up and down in front of it. And it took me a long time because it's like an animal, the, the role. It's like playing a, a kind of a wolf. So you have to feel it and you have to become this guy, which you can't do. You can't really do unless you're a genius while you're in the city, you know. You have to get there. So it took a long time. So to understand that, I mean, historically I understood it. But to wear the costume and not let the costume wear you, Gary Oldman said once in a drag an interview when he did Dracula, which had an amazing get-up, especially the old guy. The, the thing is, the costume can wear you, you know, sometimes. And that's what was happening. Like, by the time they put it all on me and put me on the horse, I was like, I, I can't say. So to rise inside that and put your chest back and open your eyes and give the line, that was the big deal in that role. This is Hardik Jolapara from Rajkot, Gujarat. Hello sir, please share with us about you and Salman Khan relation and why you're not working together since Ham Saath Saath Hai. I feel we did work together. There's, uh, there's absolutely no issue with Salman Bhai and my relationship at all. I have the greatest respect for him. In fact, we, we nearly did race three together. Ramesh Torani ji, when he gave um, Salman the lead in that, uh, came with Shiraz and offered me a part, which... Um, I mean, for various reasons I didn't connect with. But we could have done that also. At the rate Shank Pushpa, which is Saif's favourite Karina Kapoor film and why? I think it's Jab We Met because of the kind of character she played. And uh, I like her in those kind of roles. Mama Sardar from Kurdistan, Iraq. Uh -huh. What is your opinion about Sara's performance till now? Well, I thought she was really good in Kedarnath and making really interesting choices as an actor within the scene. The thing I love most about Sara, not as my daughter, as a personality is uh, there's a very strong sense of humility and being down to earth that comes across it just makes me um, support her and I think I think everyone feels that way I'll be very honest um, I've interviewed many people in the last 10 12 years but I think she's one of the most sorted yeah actor or actress that that I personally talk to it kind First of all, she's very well informed yeah she is way beyond intelligent for her age she's very knowledgeable it's a delight to talk to her yeah, she is. Which I think you guys, Great. both you and Amrita Ma'am, I think deserve credit. Well, you know, credit to her mother and, and to her and her education. But also, there's only so much an education can do in the sense that you have to have it in you to absorb those things. Rapid Fire Saif Ali Khan, what attracted you the most in the script of Lal Kaptan? The world, the character, the kind of, to be that, the badass guy, you know. He's a crazy guy, but he's, he's the central kind of hero in this insane world. And it's a lovely, lovely story. A rumour that you heard about yourself, you wish it was true. That's probably something about how much money I'm supposed to have. It's not true. What has been your most challenging role so far? Lal Kaptan. Easily. It is? Yeah. You have to become a, a wolf inside and 
take two hours to dress up like one outside and then drive two hours to the location to growl. Anything else apart from Lal Kaptan? No, nothing even comes close. Everything else is easy. When I did Tanaji, yeah. it's like a walk in the park. Pariniti Chopra has openly said in our interview that she loves you and that you are her crush. <laughs> Yay! How do you react to her? And she's I'm serious about it. I'm a Leo, so I take compliments very well. I I'm, I'm also feel the same about her. Lots of love and respect and she's my friend now. To be my friend, you just have to say things like this. <laughs> if not Sartaj Singh, which other role from Sacred Games you'd have loved to play? You know, I don't think I'd be a very good Gaitonde. <laughs> I, don't think I'd be, I don't think I'd be a good Gaitonde. I'd love to play Gaitonde, but I can't. Like he can't play Sartaj Singh. <laughs> Imagine him with Sartaj Singh. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which filmy characters of yours you'd like to spend a day with? I wouldn't like to spend a moment with Lal Kaptan because okay. he might eat me or bite me or something. I think Javani Janaman guy would be great fun. Jazz. Okay. Jazz is a like good party boy, no? so I'd like to hang out with him. Something on the lines of Love Aachkal, your character in Love Aachkal? See, films have changed. That rom-com is dead. So now there's guys like Nitin Kakkar who are used to making films like Filmistan who are making commercial movies. So they're making the guy a little sensible and normal, a little more real than those guys. I think he has a sense of perspective as well. I think L films like Love Aajkal to me. I, notebook, I, I thought that was a very nice film. Yeah, he did not do that but well, with, but it was with a very nice film. Kind of with respect to Imtiaz, of course. I think Love Aajkal and these films are very dialogue driven. What stands out is what they're saying. You know that scene, Romeo and Juliet, he, Ranja, Leila, Majnu. You know, do you notice Desi love stories mein ladki ka naam pehle aata hai? That's a very dialogue driven scene. Like the, what comes through is, wow, Amtia is a really nice dialogue writer. You know, but people don't really talk like that. At, at least normal people don't, right? Ye ya wo, either or if you have to choose, uh, Ajay Devgan ya Amir Khan, the better co-star. They're both great, very unselfish. They're very similar. Uh, because, yeah, they're both easy going and they let you, they're passionate about the kind of movies they make and they know about movies. Both, you know, can direct as well kind of thing. Um, that's how knowledgeable they are, but um, they let you be. Shah Rukh Khan or Akshay Kumar, the guy who has a better sense of humor? Yeah, Akshay Kumar's got a great sense of humor. They're different senses of humor. Akshay Kumar is very funny. Shah Rukh's very funny also. Little different. Akshay's is a little more basic. Shah Rukh's a slightly more sophisticated sense of humor, I'd say. But they're both very funny. Beard or clean shave? On me? Yep. Beard, yeah. I don't like being clean shaved. Love Aachkal or race? Race. Uh, newspapers or online blogs? I don't like the newspaper anymore. I still get it, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start reading my iPad. This, this, this feels all... I think I'm going to... You know, earlier I read about people who used to iron the newspaper. <laughs> Have you heard of this thing? No, I haven't. By the time it reaches me. It's half gone, the paper. So, it's going to be a little bit they iron it. So, can read the paper, but it's gone now. It's part of the past. iPad, blogs. Race one, your race two. Depends actually which paper, you know, and where. Editor, editor, a lot of people lie on the internet. So you don't know, you know, post-truth world. People just make up stuff. Sometimes they're not even factually correct. But there are ways of fact-checking now. Yeah. There are websites who are proving to be like fact-checkers. Generally, even WhatsApp, I think you can. Newspapers are generally a bit more accurate, no? Then you have to be careful with the internet. But the newspaper is full of gloom, yeah. so many people dying. Okay, let's come to negligence. race one, your race yeah. two. <laughs> race one, any day. Except something bothers me about race one, which has always bothered me. If you see the film, the whole plot revolves around her pushing me off the roof, right? And Anil Kapoor puts that safety harness on me. But how did they know I'd be sitting there? <laughs> That's a, I never, I've always bothered, I, I told the writers also. They said, don't be silly, it's fine. Ham tum ya salam namaste. Ham tum. Thank you so much, uh, Saif. Wonderful talking to you. I and bet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, looking forward to Lal Kaptan yeah, and thanks, Giovanni Janaman for sure. Because I think that's something that, you yeah. know, that uh, we really enjoy those kind of movies. Hopefully. To be honest. Yeah. And uh, that should be fun. And uh, maybe something on digital platform as well very soon. Yes. And we'll talk about it later. Thank you so much. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. That's, true. that's all we have from Bollywood Gama. Keep on watching. Hi, this is Saif Ali Khan, and you're watching Bollywood Hangama.